Today I'm going to be talking to you about different types of mice. Recently I ended up picking up a couple of different ones as I've always wanted certain bits, but I've also wanted to test out some to see what works for me personally. And I've got to say, I was really surprised about the results of this. I'm someone who's always been a bit iffy on the whole ergonomic stuff, which obviously I know there is plenty of stuff that backs this idea, however a lot of the time it does feel as if the word ergonomic just gets thrown in there and it automatically means the price goes up. So today the different types of mice that we're going to be comparing today are the Logi Pro, which is my gaming mouse, the MX Master 2S, I believe that's what it's called, uh, the MX Master 3, the Logitech Ergonomic Mouse, and the Magic Trackpad. Now, I was going to be comparing the Magic Mouse as well, however, I thought to myself that I don't really use it enough to really give you any thoughts about it, so I'm not really going to discuss it in this video. If you want my general thoughts, it is basically just the case that it's not that great, personally. I don't think it's nice to hold. It makes my hand cramp up, and there you go. It's nice to have gesture control, but generally speaking, the rest of it is annoying enough. But just before we jump into this video, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you enjoy tech content, I upload every single week, and I'm attempting to make them even higher quality every single time. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, as next week's one will be even better. If you are interested in any of the mice within this video, make sure to check out the links down below. They're affiliate links, so they do support the channel. So I've broken this down into three primary categories. The first is gaming, as that's something that I do regularly, but I also want to have a mouse that is good for that and also doing other work as well. Then on top of that, we've got productivity and then comfort. Productivity is a little bit different and I'll explain why in a moment to do the different mice and how they actually play into that role. But in regards to gaming, the first mouse that I have to bring up that is honestly amazing is the Logi Pro Wireless. Now, yes, is it the case that it's not really that great of a mouse outside of its gaming capabilities? Yes, generally speaking, it does your basic utility that you're going to need. You've got your buttons on the side, which are absolutely amazing for different types of games. For example, in Rainbow Six Siege, I changed the leaning keys to be on the side of my mouse. I just find it way easier that way because I like having to be able to move easily with one hand and then being able to lean around on the other. But then also, the lightness of this mouse is insane. I had a Razer Basilisk prior to this, and I used to think that was really light and really nice to use. It then broke, sadly. Uh, it stopped working. It just kind of basically just gave up on me. Amazing stuff. But with this one in comparison, I think it's around 40 grams. I'll double check and I'll let you know on the screen now. But yes, in terms of it, it's really light mouse glides across really easily and I have a felt trackpad which means for me most of the time when I'm using it many different mices will end up getting clipped on it which is very annoying however some of these haven't been doing that which is amazing but also this one doesn't at all it just glides across with ease and then the next category is going to be productivity now we've got many different things here and many different areas that kind of link in together and I think that there is two primary winners here the first of which I'm going to talk about is the Magic Trackpad. Now, I know what people might think. What do you mean it's good for productivity? I've been loving using this specifically for video edits and pretty much anything else, really. Uh, even things like Photoshop, because the one thing that I don't like about mice is that you don't have the option towards gesture control, and I've become incredibly used to it whilst using my MacBook Pro. It's one of the reasons why I said it's nice on the Magic Mouse. But with this, it actually allows you to do all those things, and it does mean that you will be a lot more productive, especially if you are very aware of many of the different gesture controls on Mac. It just means that you can easily zoom in with simple little glides across your mouse, and it just works out perfectly. In regards to productivity, there is one clear winner, which is the MX Master 3. It does great in terms of productivity related tasks, and I'm going to get into them in a moment. However, I did want to give a little mention to the MX Master 2. The primary difference, if I'm honest, out of everything has to be the weight. The weight is the most obvious difference in regards to these two things. And one thing that I do really prefer about this one is that it actually gives you a proper click satisfaction. Whereas this one, it does but it's not necessarily that clicky. It's kind of annoying, if I'm honest, and it's my only gripe with the MX Master 3. The main reason why I'd probably say you're better off going for the MX Master 3, though, over the 2, is that with the 2, you're using micro USB charging, whereas with this, you've got USB-C charging, which obviously, for all of us out there, is so much easier. Now, in regards to it, though, let me talk about that main gripe, 
And it's for two primary reasons. One is the satisfaction of clicking. You just don't get that. It's something that a lot of people will just downplay and act like it's not important, but you'll realize when you start using it that it is actually something that you are used to and it was actually important to have as it makes you know that you are in fact clicking. The other one is that for some reason when I rest my hand, typically the weight of my front fingers can accidentally set off clicking. And that's one thing that's a bit annoying. However, the main reason why I'm saying that this wins the productivity section is for the side scroll wheel, which is amazing for video edits. It's just that it literally just allows you to go across the side. So if you don't have a magic trackpad and you don't want to spend like the 120 that it is, then don't worry about it because this will allow you to do those things. It may be a little bit more clunkier. However, it does allow you to do them and it's all packed in for a good price. Now, the last section of this video is going to be in regards to comfort. And I was incredibly surprised. I've ended up choosing the Logitech Ergonomic Mouse which does look very weird, I grant it. However, it is incredibly comfortable. The easiest test to prove this to just anyone out there, if you're sat at your desk or you're stood up, whatever you might be doing, put your hand out how you would naturally, which typically for a lot of people means your hand will be out like this, where your arm is just sat like this, your hand will naturally kind of curve a little bit, your fingers don't lay out straight. Then, just turn your wrist. Just turn it as if you're holding the mouse and you're gonna feel the tension build up in your forearm. And for me, this has caused a lot of issues for workflow. Normally the reason why I hate sitting down at my desk a lot of the time is because my hand will start to, well, my wrist will start to cramp up and get in a lot of pain. Something that could be carpal tunnel, but who knows. It's something that I specifically experience with my right arm. Uh, I don't know why in particular. When I'm typing, for example, I have to have this arm a little bit raised but it's pretty much evaporated any requirement of having a wrist rest for my right hand. Because typically I would be using one of these, which is like three pounds on Amazon. Please do not buy the 50 pound ones that you'll see promoted in like every YouTube video. There's no difference. I looked into it. I've done the tests. They're exactly the same. But in regards to it, you're going to feel that massive change in comfort when going towards an ergonomic mouse. So what did I end up choosing in the end? I'm going to be returning one mouse as I already own the others, so they're going to stay around. So for gaming, I am going to be continuing to use the Logi Pro just because it does everything I need it to. And I can just sit it to one side and not really think about it. It's small enough to just put to one side and no longer remember it until I need it. But in terms of my everyday setup, I'm going to be using two. I'm going to be using the Magic Trackpad along with the Ergonomic Mouse. The reason for this is comfort and productivity, and it all works well within my workflow. I'm typically a very Mac heavy user, even though I have the PC behind me, which I absolutely love. I built it a few months ago now. It was amazing and it plays games amazingly well. I do a lot of my workflow on it. However, for the most part, I do like using my Mac a lot more. I just generally prefer using the OS a lot more. I've gone way too far over the side into the walled garden of Apple's ecosystem. So for me, those two are my end choices. So for anyone out there who is interested in any of those mice, make sure to check out the links down below. As I said, the MX Master 3 is probably the overall best competitor. I know that most people will say that online. However, the big takeaway for me is USB-C if I'm honest. I wouldn't recommend recommend getting the two just in case you're anti you know not having USB-C on your mouse which is incredibly annoying when everything nowadays is USB-C. So that all being said hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave a like do subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.